Okay guys, so I do got the next package here with me. Guess what it is? Comment down below before I show you guys exactly what it is. So, interior need a little bit more lighting. When I turn on the lights, I only got this uh, LED thing here, which is not bright enough. And uh, you know what? This is so hard guys. I don't know what I'm gonna wire this up to. Let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. We got LED strips guys. Uh, we got uh, I'll show you guys what color in a little bit. Let's install these first, but um How I need to figure out where I'm going to wire these up to because I do not want these on all all the time What do you guys think should I have them on all the time or should I not? And it can be like annoying I feel like I feel like I should wire them up to a switch and that way I can turn it on and off if I want But like if I do it to the lights if I turn off my lights, I'm not gonna have no lights Damn I'm trying to figure this out guys give me about five minutes to think this over and I'll be right back but we are gonna start wiring this up immediately when I come back on on camera so let me let me figure this out hold up okay guys after dealing with this thing for like 30 minutes I've been trying to figure out where the uh, power signal from here goes so like if you close both the doors while well, closure is not gonna close my other door is open let me just show you guys though so you guys kind of get what I'm talking about so close this door come back over here um, if we close this, that light turns off. We let it go, turn light turns on. So, um, let it go, the light's on, press it, lights off. Okay, so that's what we're trying to figure out where that power is coming from, and I cannot figure it out. So, um, I just powered it into, or I just got it into some power real quick just to show you guys real fast what it's gonna look like. I'm still trying to figure it out. Once I figure it out, I'll get back on the camera, but let me just show you guys what this looks like right now. So, saw, see that? Looks good, right? Especially, well, let me let me close the garage real fast. So, check this out. Saw. All right, guys. So, uh, wasn't able to figure out this whole wiring of the uh, LED lights or strips, but I'm gonna go home do some more research. All right, guys, we're back. This is my breakfast here. That and a monster. It's like one o'clock right now. <sighs> I haven't had one of those in so long. I try not to drink them. They're really, really bad for you. <laughs> I feel like, anyway. So I've been searching and searching and searching and I finally came up with something or they finally showed me something that might work. So um, we're going to hit this up real quick and see if it's all good. See if we can do it. See if we can get it to work. And if it does, that's the way we'll wire it. And if it doesn't, we're going to wire it straight to the door. So um, look at this, look at this, look at this. So the way they showed me to wire it was um, up here. So in here. There's a positive and a negative. I don't know which one's positive. I don't know which one's negative. I'm going to figure that out right now in my own time. I'll figure that out. I'm going to start wiring everything or while well, wiring it to the LED strip, see if it works. And that way, um, after I could just um, run my LEDs wherever I want them. And if it works, well, we'll be able to switch it on and off, whatever we want. Um, one is for the door, one is for the uh, off, and one is for the on position all day. And uh, hopefully this works, guys. Hopefully we can get this to work. And then running the wire is probably going to be the worst part. Because we have to wire it along the roof or the, the lining. <clears throat> and I don't, I didn't really want to do it, but um, it is what it is. If I have to do it to get that shit to work for the uh, dome light, that's what we're going to do. So um, that's the plan, guys. Wiring it to the dome light. Yeah, so it's been less than a minute, and I like pretty much figured this thing out already. So I don't know why it works that way instead of like being able to do it into the um son of a bitch. Oh, okay. I don't know why it works this way and not the other way, but this is weird. So check this out. We're wiring that in there just like that. We're going right here. And I don't know if you guys can see this right now. Hopefully you guys can. If you guys can't, I'm sorry. But you guys see the LEDs turn on? Did you guys see them turn on right here, right under my arm? So check that out. I don't want to get electrocuted. So if I leave it right here, look, it turned off. It's on. Off. On. Hell yeah. I'm going to use this spot to um, tap into uh, my uh, constant power. Okay? So the way we're doing this, this is already wired up here. I don't know if you guys could tell. We soldered it in right there. So that red and black wire right there is soldered into that um, negative side. And that's going to trigger 
that is going to trigger our um our um what is it called our led strip and i'm already like all oily and sweaty and stuff but anyway this is how we're doing it guys so check this out peep it peep it peep it so we ran it all along here all along here let me stretch this out a little bit just stretch it out a little bit um i had to go find some wire in the back because um i had run out and i know you guys can't see me very well fucking light anyway um check this out peep it peep it so we ran it all the way around here all the way all the way we ran it in here through the uh a pillar i believe it is and then we ran it all the way down um that's where we're running all our wires from so we have our um wire for our uh, bluetooth our bluetooth wireless bluetooth <laughs> bluetooth wireless we have our um fucking uh navigation right here and we have our um alarm right here uh what else do we have ran through there i think that's it for now but um that's where we're running our wires right now and um uh, our ground is already ran we're gonna um like i said we're gonna do our power right now we're gonna run our constant uh, 12 volt power and that's gonna be ran down to um to our foot or i don't know what it's called our foot well i think that's what it's called and then um yeah it's gonna be triggered by the uh ground there once it's grounded it'll turn on the alley our bad guys um battery right now and uh we're gonna run that to the foot wall like i said once we're done with that we could um mount our uh, led strips and we'll be done with the install guys okay guys so everything is ran now all these, these this red and blue wire here are going to be the ones ran from up here all the way down so the blue wire is going to be our ground red wire is going to be our power uh power is already connected into the led strip which is right here don't mind all the wiring right now guys that's going to be all hidden pretty damn soon i don't know when don't quote me on when i'm going to have that done but i'm going to have it done real soon um this blue wire we're gonna tap it right here onto the um, LED strip, of course, onto the LED uh, black wire, and see if we got. Um, or let me let me let me wrap this up. Hold on. Okay, so now we have that wired up. Red wire is wired up, and uh, it's off right now the uh light but i'm a, i'm going to flick the switch right now that's to where the uh what the hell how come you didn't start oh there it is there it is guys it's just loose right now this is loose right now the connection to the ground so it's loose and it just turned on so look we'll close my door size it turned off that's on, that's on the uh, door position there. We turn this on, light turns on, LED strips are on. So check it out. Side is done right there. Look at this side. No more wires down here, guys. I got this thing back on, this um, cover back on. Um, it's all scratched up and banged up, but um, I'll be getting a new one soon. I don't know how soon, but um, I'm probably going to go to a junkyard tomorrow, maybe. I want to say tomorrow, hopefully, because I need to get um, the bulb socket for the corner light, as you guys know. And I got to get the... Uh, bulb socket for the back now because the back is um kind of loose and the bulb doesn't want to work right so when um, once i do that we'll be good um interior is looking really really good look at this you guys haven't seen a complete interior in my car ever i don't think remember i told you guys i was gonna hide all those wires because i hated you guys seeing all those wires so now um they're gone guys so um you guys inspired me you guys got me to 125 subscribers guys thank you so much i appreciate that so much you guys have no idea how much it means to me like if i see a new subscriber i'm always like hell yeah that's what's good even if it's just one i don't care what what it is one subscriber is more than i had before so um thank you guys for watching thank you guys for enjoying my videos really appreciate it let's try to get to 200 subs guys please let's get it we could do this i know we can um like i said from the very beginning we're only gonna get better guys so let's get it anyway um tell me what you guys think about the interior i'm gonna go close the garage right now look at this let me put the steering wheel on let's get the steering wheel throw this bad let's see set you guys down real quick look at this Look at this complete interior. It looks much better. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. Tell me I don't look much better. This shit looks so dope. Let me get out and take and, and see how this looks. Look at that. Ooh, boy. 
I'm loving it like McDonald's, guys. This shit looks so dope. I haven't had a complete interior and I don't know how long. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. You guys inspired me, guys. Yeah, let's keep going. So it looks dope now. I can't... I can't believe this is all I had to do was put the interior back in so it could look so good But let me close this garage real quick so we can see what it looks like Let me get up in here Let's close this door right here Sauce Let's turn on the dome light Oh, this one's kind of whack because you guys can see the LED strip kind of Damn it This one you can't But this one looks a lot better like there's more light Damn it! Which one do you guys dig? Like from right here, you guys can't see it. Damn it! I don't like that. That is showing. I don't like the LED strip showing. Oh, Ooh, I tucked it away a little bit. I'm gonna try to tuck it up more. Cause from right here, you guys can see all of them, all the strips. But um, tell me what you guys think, guys. I'm digging it. So check it out. Watch. So right now, hold on. Hold on. Damn it, this sucks. There's nowhere to hold this thing in my, in my hatch. So right there, turn this off. That's on door mode. And then that shit turns on. And uh, so do the lights down there. So that's so dope, guys. I'm in, I'm in love right now. I love how that side looks. I like how this side has like more light, but that side looks like more like sleek, more like it's built into the car. This one looks kind of chafa. If you guys don't know what chafa means, chafa just means that um, it's a little bootleg, a little weak, a little whack, that type of thing. But um, I'm going to try to fix this, get some more glue on there, and uh, glue it somewhere else because I didn't like that. I didn't like that spot for it. Damn, well guys, that looks dope. This complete interior is like so legit. I can't believe I didn't do this before. It looks so dope. The red complements the uh, confetti pattern that I have on the uh, SR4 Recaros from the DC5. It complements them really, really well. If you guys don't know what seats are, those came out of, they're so, those are from the DC5, which is the RSX, the Type R. Man, this looks so amazing, guys. It complements it so very much well. Good. That you, um, you had. <laughs> it looks amazing, guys. I'm so excited over that. I know it's a simple install. $8, guys. $8 for a four-pack, and you could do this at home with ease. Um, if you need help, hit me up. I don't know what car you guys are trying to do it on, but it should be almost the same for any car. So um, pretty easy install. Um, Time-consuming, but pretty easy. And so worth $8, guys. It's completely worth the $8 I spent on it. I'm going to do the other ones in the future, the ones under the seats. I don't know when, but those are coming in the future. And, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the install. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.